We only passed 700,000 subscribers last week. We're about to hit 710,000. So thank you guys so much for all the support. Like the dream of 1 million is actually becoming a reality and I have all of you to thank. So thank you guys. Also, I got my fidget spinner collection. Um, I don't even know why they're out today, but they're out in force. If you guys have got a fidget spinner, let me know what you've got. But welcome to a little bit of a vlog style video. Oh yeah. I finally had a haircut. I was starting to look like a Sasquatch. And I've got balloons for passing 700,000 subscribers. So today's video is a little bit of like just me talking to you. Ever since I started doing these vlogs last week and the week before, people have been like, hey, Echo, bring us more vlogs. So today's vlog is a little bit of a personal one. And what I mean by that is I always get questions saying, hey, Echo, have you ever met fans in real life? And that is a very interesting story that I'm going to be sharing with you in today's video. Now, if you do enjoy this and you would like to see more story time from me, then be sure to hit that like button. Uh, I got something pretty awesome to share with you before we do this, though, because... Oh, wait, I've still got, like, look how many boxes I've got to open. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really behind on the boxing reviews, so I do apologize with that. So, something I want to share with you is the last time I did my vlog... Um, my house is being decorated. I can confirm my house has been kind of done. So we got new wallpaper. We've kind of got like, I don't know what you call them. They're just like, I don't know. We got this one done and this one done. We took the mirror off that wall because if we have it on that wall, it kind of makes no sense. We got new tables, new lamps. We got ourselves a new dining room table. We got new cushions. Now this couch that you see right here, this is going and this couch right here is going as well. So there's gonna be more space here and the fish can kind of finally be seen. Um, so it's gonna be, from my understanding, here is gonna be a two-seated couch and here's gonna be a three-seated couch. Now that is because this door right here can be opened, okay? But trying to get past this small little gap isn't really good for getting outside and considering it's summer, even though it's a very, very nice day today, like uh, we wanna make sure it's easy access. That's kind of what's going on and also, my TV is now on the wall, okay? It used to be down there, it's now on the wall. That table is gonna go here, okay? Because there's nothing there, which means the phone should, yeah, the phone is on the floor because it's got nowhere to go. The only downside to this, right, is this TV, it's, it's really high. Like when I'm sitting here, I feel like I'm like looking all the way up there, which is kind of really annoying. But anyway, I just kind of like to give you guys all updated, um, a little bit of a, a little bit of a different vlog. I'm enjoying it. So today's story, okay, as I grab myself a pillow, sit down here and place you guys there. Today's story is about meeting fans in real life. This is a very different experience, okay, because I'm just an everyday person. Now, the thing I want to tell you guys is when I was in school, I started making videos. I never told anybody and that's because I didn't want people to think that I was nerdy or something like that. I don't know, it's kind of like a psychological thing. People I see now are go to school, they don't really think it's nerdy, they're more interested, which is more of a relief. So I kind of kept that hidden away from everyone. Um, but long story short, meeting fans became a reality like two or three years ago. Now when I say meeting fans, I've had snapshot, snapshot, snapchats of people saying, was you in this location at this time? Hey Echo, I've just seen you. Um, I was in the same restaurant as Echo and stuff like that. So there's different experiences. So the first experience that this happened was, I was in a restaurant three years ago. I was with my family. We were all eating food and there was a guy behind my table, right? And they kept looking over at our table. And I was like, like, uh, is, are we loud? Are we doing something wrong? Is there something completely wrong? And it was like a young guy, a young boy with his, his little brother and his family and they were all just looking at me and I was just like, I, like, have I got something on my face? Have I done something wrong? <laughs> Do I know this person? Um, they were just looking at us the whole entire time. Now I'd finished my meal, we all got outside the restaurant, we, we got in the car, blah blah blah. I got home to check my Twitter to see that this guy was like, hey, was you just at this place at this time? And I was like, yeah, and it was a little, a little fan, a subscriber, who was absolutely petrified to to come and say, come over to me and say, are you this kind of a picture? Now, I don't know how many of you guys live in the UK or live close to me. I live in Liverpool, which is up north in the UK. But if you ever, ever see me, even if I'm having food, just be like, 
Hey, is that you? Because I, I will stop what I'm doing and I will take a picture and I'll talk to you because that's what that type of person I am. And that became a reality because in all fairness, guys, all I do is make videos online. And to you guys, like, when I say that, I do put a, a lot of hard work and time into it. But when I say this, like, I never ever thought that people would enjoy my videos. And something that I as a YouTuber and any other YouTuber sometimes forgets is that these views, these subscribers that are going up and up and up and up, that's 700,000 up and up and up, they are people. And it's kind of easy to get distracted to forget that these are people. So when you meet someone who enjoys your videos and talks about a series or a subject that you've done on your channel, it's kind of, it really does touch the heart. It's really personal and I absolutely love it. So that was the first experience. That was going back to when I had a, a like, I wouldn't say a small channel, but I think I was on around about 400,000, 300,000. Um, so the fact that he, he met me was pretty cool. The other time I was in town, okay, very, very busy place and the same thing happened. I got a message, got a tweet, got a Snapchat saying, was you in this place at this time? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, I wanted to come over and say hi. Like, you guys could do that. You know what I mean? And, and another time was really, really freaky, right? This guy, it was more like in a local area. And I was walking home, probably from a haircut, probably from just going to the bank, probably going to see friends. And this guy Snapchatted me, right? And the message underneath was like, I'm just following him home. And it was me. And I was like, that is really, really freaky. Like, absolutely stone cold freaky. I was freaked out for a week. Now, I don't mind meeting you guys in public, saying hello, but something a lot of people don't understand is as a YouTuber, they still need, we still need personal space. We still need to not have fans come to our doors and stuff. Uh, but with that being said, there is a little boy who lives across the road who is actually a fan of mine. Now, he came into my house. He seen my setup, we took pictures, I said hello, and stuff like that. Um, and every time I go outside, like, he, he'll look out his window and be like, he'll wave to me, and it's, it's pretty, it's pretty precious. That's absolutely awesome. Uh, but as for meeting fans at events, that is very different, okay? Because Insomnia is a controlled event, so meeting people at Insomnia is absolutely fantastic. It, they queue up, they come and meet you, they come and say hello. Uh, and that experience is something I will never ever forget. And it's something that I really enjoy because I've been to three or four Insomnias now and I have met so many subscribers. It's absolutely fantastic. And that is very different. They are the hardcore, dedicated, I'm going to this event to meet you uh, kind of fans. But then again, a lot of you guys are in different countries, so it's kind of hard for you to get to meet me. Maybe one day, if I become like the Dan TDM of the Minecraft community, I will do a tour, but more than likely not gonna happen. So that's kind of today's story. It's it's kind of a it's kind of a personal one. Like meeting subscribers in real life is it's a very very different experience from talking to them online or like meeting them in Minecraft because even in Minecraft now it's like hey Echo can I get a selfie in Minecraft? You know what I mean? They just want to they just want to selfie with my skin and that's me behind a keyboard playing a game with a fan behind a keyboard or a control playing the game. Um, so when you meet them in real life, it's a very different experience and it's absolutely wonderful. So that's kind of today's story I wanted to share with you, you know, like sometimes it's just fun to talk to you guys on a personal basis. But again, I just, it's some weird things have happened. Nothing extraordinary has happened, but um, some, some good stuff has definitely happened as well. So we're going to conclude today's video there. If you guys want to see more story time with me, be sure to let me know. Have a great day. Stay beautiful. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Bye.